Hey, and welcome back to Concia's educational YouTube series, where we help new Shopify store owners find the best dropshipping tools and automations to scale your store step-by-step. -step. I'm Ashley, and today I'm walking you through how to import reviews to your products using an app called Trust2. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background of this app. Trust2 is a powerful review app built specifically for new Shopify stores. It lets you import product reviews from platforms like AliExpress and Amazon directly onto your product pages. Reviews are really critical in e-commerce because they build social proof, help new customers trust your product, and improve conversion rates as well. This app is especially great for fashion, accessories, home goods, or really any niche where visuals and customer opinions carry a lot of weight. Okay, so starting from your Shopify dashboard, we're going to head up to this top search button up here. Go ahead and click Apps. Now just search Trust2. Okay, so it's this app right here with this red icon. Just click Install. Now if you click on this app, it'll bring you into this page, the installation page, where you can see the key features of the app here. You can also look at their pricing as well and see some reviews. Now, if all this looks good to you, just click install. So this will bring you to the permissions page, which is where you will be able to see exactly what Trust2 has access to in your Shopify store. Now make sure to read this all, and if it all looks good, just click install again. All right, so after you click install again, it's gonna take you to this page. Now you can see Trust2 is under apps, meaning we've already installed it. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna actually pin this to my navigation. So now it's just gonna stay here whenever I need it. It's gonna ask you some questions here. You can also just choose to skip it. I'm gonna keep my store's primary language as English. Okay, so this is a really nice feature. This is where you can automatically send emails to request reviews from your customers. So I'm just gonna make my email timing 14 days. You can make it anything you want. You can also offer a discount for writing a review, which I think is really nice too. So on this next step here, we can actually customize the auto reviews. So auto reviews are basically if the customer does not give any feedback within that certain time period I just made, which was 14 days, that means it will automatically mark this as a positive review. I'm actually going to leave both of these at default and click continue. Okay. So the last step we have to do here is actually activate it. So we're going to click enable now. Okay. So this opens your theme editor where you're actually going to activate Trust2 for your store. So you can see that this little switch here is on and all you have to do is click save. Okay, and we can just close out of this tab once we're done with it. All right, so when I close out of that tab there, you can see this is activated. We're gonna click continue. Okay, so now I'm in my Shopify store. I'm in my Trust2 app. We're gonna click widgets. And now widgets will be able to actually customize our review widget. Okay, so there's actually a lot of customization that can go into this. First, you can actually change the layout of it. I actually recommend having a professional layout so that your customers can see that there's images with the products right away. You can choose the style of the star if you want it to look a little different. If you have a certain type of clothing store or something like that or a pet niche, really make this feel like your brand. So here you can choose how they're sorted as well. Let's say photo priority. And I do highly recommend you put in your brand colors here. So again, down here, you can also choose different layouts. So let me show you what that would look like here. You can have it as a list. Grid. I would still choose the grid option so that your customers can see that this is a real product. There are real pictures for it, but of course you can choose whatever you want to do here. You can also choose to have a country flag from wherever the reviewer is from as well, a verified badge or not. And then when you scroll down far enough, you'll get to the general settings. Now here you can actually hide this when there are no reviews. So if you don't have any reviews, it'll hide the review widget completely. Once you're satisfied with how your review widget looks, just go ahead and click save, or you can click preview as well. Okay, that's saved. Now the next thing we're gonna do is actually import the reviews. So just click on import reviews here. Okay, so here you can choose how you want to import. So here you have, you can import reviews from a CSV file. You can also choose to import from Amazon and AliExpress as well as synchronized drop shipments AliExpress as well. For this video, I'm going to import AliExpress and Amazon reviews. Okay, now the first thing it's actually gonna ask you to do is to import this bookmark. So obviously this is going to look different for everyone if you have a different browser open. I'm currently using Chrome on my MacBook. So I'm just gonna click Command Shift and B. Now I've added that to my bookmarks up here. So if you click all bookmarks, it'll show up right here. Now, all I have to do is drag this button to my browser's bookmark bar. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now you can see it in here, TT Import Reviews. I went to the AliExpress website here. You can actually search by image, which I actually recommend doing this because if you are importing reviews for a certain product, you really, really, really have to make sure that one, you have the exact same variants as the product that you find in import reviews from AliExpress. 
You have to have the same look of the product, again, the same variants, and just make sure that if you're selling, for example, cosmetics, so if you're selling a, a lipstick, a lot of times those are sold in kits. So just be very careful with the review that you pick to import into your product page. Okay, so again, I'm actually going to upload a photo here. All right, so here's a picture of my headphones here that is currently on my Shopify store. And Okay, here it is. So it gave me all of these products here that look exactly like the one I'm selling. So another thing when you're picking products, or I'm sorry, picking a product to import reviews from, you wanna make sure that first of all, they have good reviews, and second, that they have a lot of reviews, right? So for example, this one's five stars, but they've only sold eight. So they probably won't have many reviews for us to import. So as I'm looking through products here, if I actually open this bookmarks bar, which is how you import the products, we're gonna click on TT reviews here. So here it'll say, please visit an AliExpress or Amazon product page to import reviews. I wanted to show you this just in case you get that message. Don't worry, you just have to be on an actual product page for it to work. So let's say I wanna uh, import reviews from this product here. You're just gonna click on it, okay? And again, make sure that these are good reviews, good products. This part will look a little different depending on what kind of computer you have, but basically you just need to go to your bookmarks, right? So on my MacBook, I'm just clicking bookmarks bar. Now, if I click TT import reviews, okay, so just choose the product that you want to uh, import reviews for. So I want the reviews from this product behind here, right, that I picked. And I'm gonna keep the number of imports to 20. You can choose here if you'd like to do text and photo reviews, text reviews only. I do recommend having some of both. So when all this looks good to you, just click import reviews. Okay, so. Now it's saying that the import task has been successfully created. Now let's go to manage import reviews. Okay, so we're back in our Shopify store. We're under the Trust2 apps and we're in import reviews. You can actually see here all of my products that I have in my Shopify store right now. You can see the published reviews here are six out of 20. And my rating for this product is five stars because I imported five star reviews. Now you can also see here, they're giving me a little review display limit. So you can actually only actually only display six reviews per product. Under import reviews, we're gonna click on our product here. All right, so if you scroll through all of these, I highly recommend going through every single one and just making sure that the image is correct. Again, like if you're importing a product with different variants, just be very careful. So for example, my product only has the colors black and white. This is obviously neither black nor white. So I wanna delete that. I don't want my customers to see that. If I'm showing reviews for a product or a color that I don't have, that could really discredit my store. So I'm just gonna go through all of these pictures, make sure the variants that I don't have are turned off, as well as if I don't like a certain review, I can also just turn it off or turn it back on if I want. On the left-hand side here of our Shopify store, you're just gonna go to this little eye icon uh, and click view your online store. Okay, so this is my product. You can see here the that color I picked out. Now if you scroll down, here's all the reviews. Again, you can change the layout. You can really customize this however you'd like to. Now I will say that if you're importing more than you know 20, 50 reviews, it's gonna take a little long time. Just have patience with it. They'll be sure to turn up right here. Now another thing you can do here is go to collect reviews. So this will actually bring up the automatic review request that I set up earlier, if we ever wanted to change that. And here it looks like my auto, uh, my automatic review request reminders is actually turned off. So I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so down here at the bottom with email template, this is actually where you can customize the emails that are sent to your customers. So for example, review requests, let's customize this. Okay, so you can see in here they have a default. So they'd use the customer name. How are you enjoying our, your purchase here? I will say that some of these customizations like the logo, banner, things like that, those are Unfortunately, you have to upgrade to be able to use those. Here you can edit the actual text that will be right here. Again, apply your brand color to the button color as well. And I also always leave an unsubscribe button. Now, obviously I haven't changed anything here, but if you do change something, just be sure to click save before you leave. Right here, you can click review discount. So this will give you all of the customization settings for the discounts. Um, so you can choose to give discounts for reviews with photos only text and photo reviews as well. You can offer discount reviews for on-site and visits requests or review requests only. In this discount code section, you can actually make it uh, a percentage off or fixed amount off. Auto reviews, 
auto reviews we talked a little bit about earlier. If you'd like to, this is actually where you can exclude products from review requests. So if you do, for whatever reason, have a product that you don't want reviews on, you can add that here. Now, let's say you've already had some sales, but you're new to this reviews process. You can actually sync your past orders and it'll automatically send those emails to the customers. And that's how you integrate Trust2 into your Shopify store and import reviews that boost trust, engagement, and conversions. It's a simple but powerful tool for building brand credibility, especially if you're just starting out or running a dropshipping store. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on this channel where I show you how to implement top Shopify apps and automations step-by-step -step as well. Leave any questions that you have in the comments and I'll see you in the next tutorial.